Hi, today we've come to my friend's farm to have a look at this, which is a rather large generator. Now we bought this from an auction and there was a problem with the uh, engine. Now he's got the engine running and that seems to run fine. However, after about 10 seconds, uh, it comes up with uh, some kind of error on this uh, control panel here. So I think what we'll do is we'll first we'll power it up. We'll see what the error is and then uh, we'll see if we can figure out uh, how we can repair it. Right, so the first problem that we've come across is uh, the because it's stood around for that long because uh, he's been asking us to come over for a while is the uh, battery is uh, totally flat. So we've had to take one of the uh, batteries off one of the tractors here and uh, couple that up so we can uh, actually get it started. So uh, right, uh, hopefully we should be able to get it started now. Right, so we've connected the battery up and uh, it says generator at rest. So what I've been told is we need to put it into manual mode and press this button here and it should uh, start up. So let's see if it does. Right, so that was it running for a few seconds and now it's going along saying Gen under voltage. So I think that's the uh, error we was uh, talking about. So we need to figure out what uh, what's causing that. Right, so in this panel here, this is the uh, back of the control panel here. Looks like uh, Looks like there's a USB port there, I'm not sure what that's for. This is for like some kind of uh, firmware upgrade or whatever. Now he did say there was some wires that had burned out. And this is uh, one of the wires here and they had replaced them. Um, there's some uh, crimp type solder things that they've used here. And they replaced the wires going up to here. So I don't know whether that's got anything to do with it or not. I've got a volts adjust there. What else have we got down here? There's a few breakers. Uh, it looks like there's a current sensing coil just here. That's got the uh, earth wire going through with it. So I think that's for measuring uh, earth leakage. So if there's a fault, it obviously measures the current through this uh, coil here. And then uh, trips that out. So I've just been having a little play with the uh, menus here. And there's a, if you go into generator here, it shows you the voltage. So I'm going to try starting it up and try going into this uh, menu here just to see uh, what it's saying, to see if I can figure out what, uh, what's going on. So it's manual, we'll hit uh, the start button. And it's not wanting to start now. So according to that, it's uh, about 215 volts it's given out. So should that be about 240? So I've just noticed there's a uh, label down here, which uh, shows the date when the generator was made. So it was made in 2013, and it's a three-phase generator, uh, 415 volts. I've just noticed there's a service record on the front of it. So it looks like it was last serviced in July of 2020. And it doesn't look like it's done many hours since then, maybe 180 hours or something. So because he's had problems with the uh, engine on this, I'm just wondering whether, you know, it could be the engine's not going around fast enough or something like that and there's a throttle lever just here so 
I think what I'm going to try, just to um, see if it's any relationship to that, is um, just try pulling the throttle and see if the uh, engine speed changes and to see if uh, that has any effect on the voltage. So I'm just going to start the generator up now and I'm just going to try adjusting the throttle there. I'm going to see if we can get it onto uh, voltage on the display just to see if that has any effect. So I'll start this up. Right, so it looks like we've got a different error now, saying generator over frequency. So, I don't think it's got anything to do with the engine speed then. Just uh, silence that. Right. Now I think we might have to have a look in the actual generator part, which is over the back here. I just wonder if the uh, voltages coming out of the generator actually match what it's showing on the display. So I think I'm going to get my test meter. I'm going to take that cover off and then uh, have a look with the test meter just to uh, see if the voltages match up. So it looks like we need to remove the top cover here to get access to the uh, wiring. Right, so that's the uh, top cover removed. So I think uh, I'll get uh, my friend who was over with us to uh, fire the generator up while uh, we probe those connections with the test meter. So I've just noticed here on the uh, back of the cover, I've got a bit of a, a wiring diagram there. So we can see uh, the neutral W, V and U phases. Right, so I've got the meter just there, and I'm just going to try probing very carefully on these two wires here, and we'll just measure the voltage. If you can just start that up then. Right, so I'm only getting about 216 volts there and uh, I don't think that's quite right because I'm sure this is supposed to be about 400. So, um, right, I'm just going to uh, have a bit look further down because there's another compartment just a bit further down there. Oh, looks like we've got a circuit board in here. Oh, there's another diagram. Right, so this looks like the uh, the thing that uh, regulates the voltage output by the look of it. it looks like it's got some uh, connections and such there, and some adjustments. Right, I'm just uh, bring the camera down a bit, and we'll uh, we'll have a little bit of look. Right, so according to this, uh, voltage adjustment seems to be this uh, potentiometer here, which uh, is that one there. And that seems to be turned all the way, for some reason. I wonder what happens if we try it just a little bit further. Well, try it about, uh, about there. And I think we'll try firing the generator up now and see if that's made any difference. Right, so I'm just going to fire it up now and see if it's made any difference. Nope, still got the same error. I know there's a volts adjustment in here as well. So we'll try turning that down and then we'll try it again and see if that makes any difference.
Well, it doesn't seem like that voltage adjustment's making any difference because I've uh, just tried it all the way up and all the way down. So, what's going on with that? Well, one of the guys has brought us a, a nice cup of coffee there, which uh, I've already half drank, so... But, yeah, I'm trying to think, uh, I think it could be a problem uh, with this uh, regulator board here. Because um, that's obviously what regulates the power. So... Let's have a look at these connections and see what's what. So we've got voltage adjustment there. Looks like we've got a couple of jumpers here. That one's for frequency selection, so that's set to 50 hertz, so that's right. Obviously you must have to switch that for the um, for the different frequencies. I don't know what stability adjustment is, but there's no jumpers fitted there. Uh, although it says factory setting there. Slow, there should be a link between D and B, but there's no jumper fitted. Uh, we've got two wires going to droop CT input. I don't know what that is. And then we've got another two jumpers there that say hand trimmer connection. Hmm, I'm just going to check the wires on the front of that uh, control because I'm sure those were grey and black as well. Let's have a look at this a sec. Yeah, so I've got a, it looks like a grey and black wire going here, so two seconds in. Right, so I've got my meter probes plugged into the uh, wires on the other side of the generator that go to that uh, control board here. I just want to see if they actually go to this control. Yeah, and they do. So, should those not be going to the voltage adjust on the control board? Like I said, he bought this from auction and it, was, uh, it wasn't working when he bought it. And it's always had this fault. Um, the other fault with it was there was lots of smoke coming from the engine so he's had the cylinder head off cleaned all the valves and everything and rebuilt the uh, the top end of the engine so like I said the engine part of it's uh, working okay but uh, like I said it's still got this fault where it just runs for 10 seconds and then it uh, cuts out so all right I'm just going back going to go back around the other side now and uh, have a quick look So those are the wires that I've got my probes into here. But looking at the uh, the little diagram here, it uh, it's got here hand trimmer connection. I'm not sure what dupe input is, but I would thought that the hand trimmer connection for the voltage would be on those two, not those two. So I wonder if somebody's had this apart and put those on the wrong connections, maybe. I think I'm going to try just to see what happens. So I'm going to put those on there. And then uh, we'll give it a go next and see what happens. So I've set that trimmer pot as well back to uh, the position it was at. Uh, so we'll try starting it now and see if it does anything. Right, well that looks a bit better, but the uh, the voltage is way too high now, uh, and I've got this uh, voltage adjust, it's actually turned down to the minimum, and it was kicking out about 250 volts on each phase, and I would have thought it should be about 230 or 240, so I'm just going to uh, see if I can adjust that um, potentiometer on the uh, board a minute, and then uh, we'll try firing it up again. So while I was editing the video, I noticed at the bottom of the diagram it had AS 
480 AVR written. So I thought I'd do a search on that, and I found the uh, the manual for the control module here. And the way it works, it adjusts the um, exciter winding field coils in the generator. So if it adds more power to those, it obviously generates more because the magnetism is stronger. And if it wants less power, it reduces the power to those. So the magnet that's spinning around in the center is obviously weaker. And that's how it actually regulates the uh, voltage. All right, so I'm going to try and set this about halfway because this is all the way to the right and I think it should, uh, I think we'll start about halfway and then uh, we'll see what difference that makes let's see what it does now then let's put it in the manual and we'll start it up. Well, that's almost there I think uh, it didn't get the 240 until I turned it almost all the way to the right on the uh, internal adjuster just here so I think uh, that other potentiometer might uh, need adjusted slightly so I'll just go and tweak that a little bit and then uh, we'll try again so we'll try that again You know, I think that's it. I think somebody's had those connections in the wrong place and uh, somebody's been adjusting that potentiometer. So whether or not the uh, the engine problems were causing it not to run right and they've thought, oh, we'll mess around with this um, with this circuit board around this side, I don't know. Because obviously, I don't, we don't know the history of this. Like I said, it came from an auction. So I think uh, what I'll do next, uh, just to... We'll just run it for a while, uh, and I think we'll try uh, plugging some uh, tools or something in on the output just to double check that it's uh, all working okay. Right, I think uh, that seems to be all working fine now, so I think uh, my friend's going to be very happy with this. Uh, like I said, I'm not sure exactly how much he paid for it, but uh, I think he got it at a good price, So, and it uh, all seems to be working now then. So, yeah, another good fix on this one, I think. Right then, if you enjoyed this video, please give it the thumbs up. If you want to see more like it, please subscribe. Any comments or questions, please leave it in the comments section below. And as always, have a great day. Thanks for watching.